Hey there, Arizona Science Center fans. Welcome to another 1230 Facebook Live here at Arizona Science Center. Now, my name is Maverick, and today we are going to be talking about some chemistry in a bag. We're going to talk about some chemical reactions that are going on, and we'll get to see and visualize a really, really awesome one. I think it's one of my absolute favorite ones to watch. Um, now, this one right here, I just like to call it our nacho cheese reaction, our uh, reaction in a bag, but it's going to be really cool. It's an exothermic reaction and you get to see, you're going to get to see a lot of interesting things. But before we do any type of chemical reaction, right, we want to make sure that we are, um, that we are using the, the right materials, right? And we want to make sure that we're wearing our proper PPE and staying safe. So the first thing I want to do is show you guys what I'm going to wear. So we want to wear our safety goggles, right? And we want to wear our gloves because even though any of the chemicals that we're working with today aren't super dangerous or anything, um, the calcium chloride that we'll be working with today, it can make your skin a little bit dry and we don't want to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and throw these gloves on here and then I've got my lab coat on to make sure I keep the rest of me safe. Now, anytime you're working with any type of chemicals, you always want to make sure that you're wearing your proper Per, uh, personal protective equipment or PPE. Now, the cool thing about this reaction, and just talking a little bit about chemical reactions, right? What is it? What is chemistry? What are chemical reactions? Now, the way I like to describe it is mixing things together, right? It's You're mixing different chemicals and different materials together, and something is happening, right? Now, chemical changes is when the actual makeup, it's basically changing into a new thing, whereas a physical change is just changing the properties, the physical properties of something, but the thing itself stays the same. And one really cool thing about any reaction, any system, is the amount of matter in that system is going to stay the same, and we'll get to visualize that really awesome with this. So, Got a couple cool things here that we are gonna use. Now the first material that we are using is this fancy thing called baking soda. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our plastic bag here. And we're gonna take one teaspoon of our baking soda. And you'll see you want it about, about flat. So you want it like an even teaspoon there if you can see that. And you're gonna drop that into your bag here. And each step of this, I want us to make some slight observations, right? So looking at baking soda, what does it look like? Right, what do we think? All right, so this is just kind of like a white, super fine powder. Nothing too crazy here. It feels really soft. Yeah, just some nice physical observations there. So the next thing we're gonna do is we've got our phenol red here. Now this is kind of an indicator, and this is gonna be one of the only things in our reaction that isn't going to go through a chemical change. This one is just gonna go through a physical change, but what we're gonna do is I've already measured out 10 milliliters of our phenol red indicator. So I've got that in here. I don't know, you guys probably didn't wanna watch me actually measure this out. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this, and we're gonna drop it into here with the baking soda. And what do you guys think is going to happen before I do this? What's your hypothesis? What do you think is going to happen when I add this phenol red in with this baking soda? Anybody have any guesses? I'm going to give it like five seconds to see if anybody wants to type in a guess. Perfect. So, you guys think it's going to explode? Hope not. But no, this won't explode. But we're going to see what happens. So, I'm going to add that in. And... Let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and close the bag here to keep any potential gas that gets created or anything secured in there. But let's take a look. So do we notice anything? Nothing too crazy, right? We got a little bit of a color change. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of mix up some of our, um, some of our baking soda with my fingers here to see if anything else changes. And one thing I notice is it looks a little more pink, right? That baking soda itself is a little more pink in there. So we're going to mix that up a bit. But nothing really happened. Not too much happened. Now this last thing we're going to do is the cool part. This is when things get crazy. So we've got calcium chloride. Now this is the next ingredient that we're going to mix in. Got this right here. I've already measured out one teaspoon. So I used our teaspoon measure to measure out one teaspoon of our calcium chloride. And we're going to add this to our bag and close the bag really quick and see what happens. You guys ready to watch this?
I'm gonna close it up. And what you're gonna see, let's get this bag closed. You can see and possibly hear, depending on, I don't know how well you guys can hear, but it's a lot of bubbles, right? It's kind of bubbling and foaming and fizzing. And if you see the bag, the bag itself is also starting to inflate a little bit. It's getting bigger. Now, why would that be? If I put enough in here, eventually this bag would keep on inflating and pop. Now, one of my favorite things that you can't really tell from home, but if you were to touch this, it is very hot. It has gotten much, much, much hotter. That's because it's an exothermic reaction that started giving off heat. Now, basically what happened, we mixed our ingredients together, right? And we got a chemical change. We got carbonic acid from our sodium chloride and our, um, and our baking soda mixing together. Some baking soda is sodium bicarbonate and our calcium chloride and our uh, sodium bicarbonate mixed together, creating carbonic acid and sodium chloride, which is just table salt, as well as water, and it released carbon dioxide gas. And releasing the gas is what is filling this bag up, which is what's making it puff up. But this same amount of matter is in our system as we started, although it looks very, very different. And our phenol red, although it changed colors, did not change chemically at all. This is just a really, really basic little chemical reaction. Really awesome thing to see here. Now, I, we've got all kinds of awesome stuff here coming for you. Um, all week. Oh, we got our Facebook Lives at 1230 every day here. Um, we also have a really awesome new platform that you can find at azscience.org. Check it out. It's called Connect, and we are doing all kinds of awesome virtual content on there. So go ahead and check us out. Make sure you're staying safe at home, wearing masks, wearing gloves. I mean, if you're doing chemical or chemistry, definitely wearing gloves. But make sure you're wearing masks if you're going out in public. Um, anywhere, just keep yourself safe. Keep, uh, keep everybody else safe. Make sure you're washing those hands. And as always... Join us next time for another awesome science demo here with Arizona Science Center. My name is Maverick, and I will see you next time, guys. Bye, everyone.